What's up people, Jade up here. Before I get started with this video, if you haven't checked out the latest episode of Pro Wrestling Talk Radio, you can do so by clicking the link down in the description box. Among many topics, we talked about John Morrison's WWE status and whether WWE is setting up John Cena for a heel turn. Also, a programming note, the dubbies are coming. They are my year-end awards in pro wrestling and the nominations will be revealed and voting will begin this Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time on the Sideshow. If you want to find out more information about the dubbies or pro wrestling talk radio all you have to do is head over to pwfempire.com just wanted to make this video in response to the response that we got for the debate we had on last week's episode of Pro Wrestling Talk Radio concerning the hate amongst fans for John Cena. So, I uploaded the clip here to YouTube, and by the way, if you haven't checked it out, you can do so by clicking down below. And thanks to all who watched, commented, gave us your feedback, and listened to that last episode of Pro Wrestling Talk Radio and made it the highest rated episode in PWTR's history. Even more thanks to all of the people who glossed right over the whole damn point of the discussion. We had some comments like, what are you guys talking about? The hate for John Cena is justified and I understand where the boos are coming from. Guess what? I do too because some of the same things you guys dislike about John Cena, I dislike also. But I have to point this out. Other than Vince McMahon himself, there is no other person I respect more in the wrestling industry than John Cena. For him carrying WWE on his back, the pride that he has in that company, and the crap that he has to deal with because of all of that. I want to be a Cena fan but there are some issues I have with his character that are preventing me from being such. I personally would like to see him add a bit of an edge to his character because at times he is stale, he limits himself in the ring, and I hate those repetitive ass Disney movie sports coach promos. But even with all of that being said, I still don't participate in the hate. I, um, what's the phrase I'm looking for here? I don't participate in the hate. I rise above it. Now let's talk about this whole quest for change because we got a lot of those comments too. Everybody wants to see a change for John Cena, me included, but contrary to popular belief, change doesn't automatically equal heel turn. There are ways for John Cena to be entertaining and have good matches without turning heel. But it's funny the reasoning behind some people wanting to turn Cena heel. He's not interesting, he has no wrestling talent, and he has no charisma. So WWE needs to turn him heel. What? How the hell does that make any sense at all? Let's pump the brakes and go back to step one. For you to want John Cena to turn heel, first, you would have to admit that you believe he's talented enough to pull it off. Otherwise, all you're doing is setting yourself up for a few weeks of shock value and new car smell, but once that wears off, there will be no substance there and you'll go right back to hating him because if you truly believe he has no talent, if you truly believe he has no charisma, then a heel turn damn sure wouldn't give him any of that. As I said before, there are ways for Cena to be entertaining without a heel turn. I happen to believe that John Cena is a highly talented individual with charisma and with solid in-ring ability to boot. The only problem is we need to see that a little bit more often. But there have been times pretty recently where John Cena's talent has been put on showcase. I thought he was pretty entertaining on this last episode of Raw and the Piper's Pit segment with Roddy Piper and the week before that with Awesome Truth. And on top of all of that, he's a contender for match of the year along with Cena. CM Punk for their match at Money in the Bank. But oh no, it's blasphemy to give credit to Cena on that one because we all know Punk carried him in that match because Cena can't wrestle, right? Wrong. Point one, there is no way in hell you can carry somebody to a match of the year candidate. If you have to carry somebody during a match, no matter how good the person doing the carrying is, the match quality would still be affected. So if this is a match of the year candidate, some people wouldn't even consider it, it a competition because they say this match is the runaway winner then if CM Punk deserves credit for the quality so does John Cena point two the whole you can't wrestle that is bullshit to say John Cena can't wrestle, that's going too far. If somebody was to say he was limited in the ring, then I would agree with you, but I guess people don't chant that at arenas because that doesn't roll off the tongue that easily. And I know somebody is watching this video right now, even multiple people, hollering at the screen, J-Dub, what the hell are you talking about? John Cena can't wrestle, he only has five moves, the five moves of doom. Let's be honest. 
some of the greatest of the greats of all time had their five moves of doom also but for some reason John Cena is the only one that gets flack for it look at people like Stone Cold Steve Austin The Rock they had their five moves of doom I'm willing to sit here and admit my favorite wrestler of all time Triple H he had his five moves of doom too and that isn't even the half of it. The list goes on and on and on all throughout history. Even superstars of the day have their own moves of doom. Evan Bourne, Kofi Kingston, Zack Ryder, just to name a few. And another name that you can add to that list, none other than the current WWE Champion, CM Punk. Oh shit, I just dropped the pipe bomb. Am I fucking serious? Really? Yes, I am. Spinning kick to the midsection, Irish whip opponent into the ropes for the leg lariat, the opponent goes over into the corner, CM Punk hits him with a running knee strike into a bulldog, then CM Punk goes up top for the macho man elbow. In nearly every single CM Punk match, he does some kind of variation of that set of moves, and sometimes it's in that exact same order. You don't even have to believe me, we're on YouTube right now, go ahead and search and see. Then when you come back, tell me how the fuck is that any different from John Cena. With the recent developments on Raw, I feel like the topic is unavoidable now, but for a while I hated even talking about a John Cena heel turn and adding to the speculation because there are a lot of people out there who get so wrapped up in the hype that they're basically forcing themselves to dislike John Cena every day a heel turn doesn't happen. They put WWE in this position like, it's my way or the highway. If you don't turn John Cena heel, then I'm going to hate everything he does. There is people out there who say John Cena needs to make a change but they're so blinded by he'll turn he'll turn that even when he does work to improve his character even when he does make changes they ignore them because it's not the change that they want take Survivor Series for instance the crowd chants you can't wrestle John Cena proceeds to prove them wrong and do they give him props on that no they follow it up with you still suck some people act as if it's a crime to give Cena any kind of props at all, even when he earned them. Like, I could say something like, Cena was pretty entertaining in this promo, or Cena had a great match at this show. And every single time, without fail, I always get a group of people saying something to the effect of, Why are you praising Cena? It was only one match. It doesn't count. It's irrelevant. Are we supposed to forget the fact that he sucked for the last six years? So, because he sucked for six years, I can't give him props for being entertaining in the moment. If he has a bad match, then he sucks. But if he has a good match, I can't say it was good because the last match was bad, therefore he still sucks. Like, what What the hell are you saying? Are you saying that he would have to be great for the next six years straight to make up for the past six years before anybody could give him any kind of credit? Well, John, it's November 2017, and you've been doing great for the past five years and 11 months, only one month away from working yourself out of that hole, but I didn't like that promo, so none of it counts and you still suck. Sorry. Are you fucking serious? Really? It really seems like people have just made a game out of hating Cena. It was definitely rooted in some truth somewhere long ago, but the perfect way to describe it now would be to simply say that it's nothing more than a fad. Everybody hates Cena. It's a cool thing to do, so I'm gonna hate him too. It's just grown to a point over the years where it's just so big and ridiculous, I don't even take it seriously anymore. They put him in these situations where he can't win, and no matter how far from reality some of them are, they still throw these tags on him to justify the hate, saying that, oh, he can't wrestle, he has no talent, He's useless and boo the hell out of him no matter what. And there are a lot of people out there who say, well, oh, well I'm going to keep hating John Cena because if not, we'll be stuck with the same old, same old. Fair enough, but look at it like this. On Raw, Cena mentioned that he got booed at WrestleMania 22 and One Night Stand. Those were back in 2006. So, he's been getting booed for over five years, and what the hell has the booing done since then? What the hell has the hate done for John Cena since 2006? How many world titles has he won since then? How many main events has he been in since then? What the hell has the hate done to stop John Cena? It's done nothing but solidify his position at the top of WWE because for a long stretch of time, John Cena was basically the only guy getting any kind of substantive reaction from the crowd. You could watch an episode of Monday Night Raw and you have the people in the audience who paid for tickets sitting there on their damn hands, ignoring 99% of the roster. But as soon as John Cena makes his entrance, as soon as John Cena comes out, they jump up out of their chairs and boo the hell out of him. It seems as if some people only buy tickets to shows to boo John Cena. Now let me paint this picture for you. You have a guy who gets more heat than anybody on the roster. Lots of fans dislike him. Some even hate him because of his actions. And yet he's still a top draw because people pay to see him in the hopes that somebody is going to whoop his ass. 
what does that sound like to you? If you're looking at it from that perspective, then John Cena is already a heel, top one in the business at that. Now, I'm not saying that an official, full-fledged heel turn won't happen, but let's not act like WWE is in some kind of state of desperation where a John Cena heel turn is absolutely oh so necessary. As long as Cena has a strong base of support from his fans, as you've seen from the last half decade and counting, the hate isn't going to topple him. And you can try to invalidate him by saying, oh, well, his fans are only kids and women and shut-in virgins and they don't matter well let me put it like this first i'm pretty sure his demographic is a little bit wider than that and secondly if john cena's fans had enough power and influence to get him to the number one spot in the company for the better part of a decade how is it that they're the ones that don't matter you should be asking the question what it is they're doing right and what you're doing wrong because, if anything, their opinion matters the most. Not because WWE is PG and they're catering the kids, but because that's the segment of the fan population that's not just hating and talking about what they don't like, but actually showing support for what they do. At the end of the day, WWE is a business and they follow the money trail. It doesn't matter whether it's coming from a kid, an adult, you, me, or some tiny ass Korean groceries, they'll take any motherfucker's money if he giving it away. The whole point of the debate on PWTR was this. If you want WWE to become something other than the John Cena show, you can't accomplish that by trying to push him out the door. Because the sad fact for you is, and I'm going to break it down to the most basic level ever, John Cena isn't going anywhere. I don't give a damn who comes on the scene, who's the next big breakout star, who's the WWE champion, who's the most over guy in the company. Those are all important figures, but John Cena will always have a unique position in the main infrastructure of WWE as long as he's in that company, and deservedly so. You can't get rid of Cena, so instead of focusing your energy on trying to bring him down, how about you try your damnness to bring others up to that level where they can be top stars too, and we can have a competition going on at the top, and we can be entertained by a wide array of talent, and it's not just a one-man show. Look at CM Punk, The Miz, Zack Ryder, Cena hate didn't bring them up the card, support from the fans did. So you're fully entitled to your right to express an opinion. So go ahead and dislike John Cena. Boo him out of the damn building every time his music hits. Curse his name. Hate him. Hell, you can even burn him in effigy if you want to. But if you expect the powers that be in WWE to say, man, they don't seem to really like John Cena. They hate him, actually. Let's ignore all of this money that he's making because obviously something is wrong and we need to make a change. If at any moment you expect anything like that to happen, then that's the moment you set yourself up for failure. I'm sorry I got to leave up out of here before I lose my damn mind. I am J-Dub. Thanks for watching. Peace out.